Hello guys, welcome to Lab Between 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is Do they talk about you to their friends? Now this is about friends, I already made about family, right? And also both friends and family This time specifically about friends guys, okay? And <laughs> I don't know why I sense friend zone, but let's see Anyway, this one was requested to me by the Archangel because they want to tackle up to my own personal life and they want me to be aware about my person. That's why they they decided to have this pick a card reading and it is to help me and also you guys, okay? That is basically what they want. And they want to say to you that if they say negative things about you, it doesn't mean that that is really you because sometimes people manipulate the situation. So anyway, it is for us to be aware if they are saying the same things to their friends, okay? Because nowadays, we don't know who are true and who are not. So anyway, these are arranged by Archangel Gabriel and St. Gabriel said that within um, this week, it is very important for us to know exactly the motives of our person. That's why it is highly important for us to know what are they talking about with their friends. To be honest, guys, at first, they want me to do the title as what does he tells his friends about you but then since some of you guys okay not basically um what do you call this your person could not possibly talk to you that's why i'm gonna make it as a yes or no instead okay so that we will be sure if they are talking about you behind your back or not and they say to you that um in the end of this reading you will identify if the person that you're dealing with is being honest to you because in some cases you might be dealing with someone whom is just for play and not really serious about your relationship okay and to be honest guys i am blunt the angels say i have to inform you that i don't sugarcoat things so that you'll be aware of how i tackle things okay i'm not like other readers that sugarcoat things if there is something that i have to say i have to say it i want to be honest rather than false okay so is there anything else we said that's it okay guys um we have eight choices here choice number one is release toxins from your body mind and diet i don't know why but i'm drawn to say that okay it's detox time number two is sensitivity number three allow yourself to receive number four divine guidance number five ask for what you want number six is law of attraction number seven is stay true to yourself number eight is daily practice so choose wisely don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate and not even your favorite number let the cards call on to you pray first before you choose your pile um, so that the angels will direct you on to the right pile and the angels say if you receive something negative it doesn't mean that it's really you in reality okay remember that and um if they say something negative with you better back off okay you don't need someone who's dishonest to you all right or you need to clarify yourself could be their judgment about you is wrong right <laughs> they said um it's up to you if you will accept it if that is really the true you or not it's their opinion and not um yours right so anyway it's up to you be your authentic self as always no need to wear um a mask because if you wear a mask when you're in front of a certain person and then another mask on some other people then who you are you don't have an identity so 
better be authentic guys okay remind yourself that you don't have to wear mask all the time how can you know about yourself if you're always wearing a mask right so the angels say that it's not really good to wear a mask so avoid doing it okay be your authentic self and let the person love you for who you are remember so is there anything else they said that's it. Alright guys, just post the video if you're not yet ready. I'll proceed now with pile number one. Hello guys, for those who chose pile number one, which is the detox time. So here is your reading. Um, this is release toxins from your body, mind, and diet. So anyway, let's see, okay? If your person is talking about you with your friends. If majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes, they are talking about you with their friends. But then if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know. If the person of pile number one talk about them to their friends. This is friends only guys, okay? I already did the one about family, so you may find it on the list of love readings with my videos, okay? It's organized on my channel. So you guys had a bird's nest. They said it is in both ways, they tell. You also got Queen of Keys in upright, they tell. You also got up in the air, reversed, they said. Or the upright. Both ways, they said treasure, reversed, they tell. Loving elementals in reverse. There's a third party involved in your situation, pal number one. I'm sensing the lookout in a pride. And they are hiding the fact that they have someone else. They said, four of forces in reverse. Or can be upright. One more. Okay, they want to give you more. You got um, views of the ego in both ways, they said. You also got the queen of forces in reverse, they tell. You also got five of roses in both ways, they said. The accent in a bright. You also got initiation in a bright, they tell Buddha prepares. And you also got setting your course in upright. They said diversity upright. So, looks like majority is upright. But then we will count, guys. Okay? This one doesn't count. Okay? Only these tarot cards. That is an oracle card. <laughs> anyway, let's count. How many are the uprights? We have three here on top. Three, four, um, five, six seven so you got seven uprights and how many are reverse one two um three so you got three in the reverse so anyway since majority are in upright yes they talk about you with their friends okay to their friends but we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. You must release your ego because um, I'm sensing like um, they are too bad. I don't know why they the angels say too bad about feelings or about them literally angels. They said that it's because this person is wasting your time, effort, money, and so on. They are player types according to the angels. Like, they aren't even sure 
what it is um, they truly want. Because to be honest, with detox time, could be it's telling you that you must let go of something that is toxic already. This could be your ex or somebody that you thought was a good friend, a lover, or and so on. And but behind your back, they are bad. That's what I'm sensing. They are egotistical, the angels say, and they don't tap into their emotions. Like, they don't even care if they hurt someone with their words or with the way they act. So, please be careful. This person might hurt you. But we will tackle what they talk about you behind your back. So, even the cards are falling. With their dishonesty, the angels say. One more. I'm losing a lot of water <laughs> with this energy of your person, guys. So anyway, you got a yes. They are talking about you to their friends. But it's up to you to tackle if they are telling the truth or not, guys. Alright? So you got the Buddha prepares. I'm sensing here that this person might take an action with regards to you because of the fact that they are holding back. Look at that. They're putting up front a tough face. And I'm sensing with this one is that with their friends, okay, they are telling their friends that they will cut off cords with you. Like, they don't want you. That's what I'm sensing. Because they are egotistical mindset. Um, that they think that they are better off without you. They're successful and happy without you. And that they don't care about you. That's what I'm sensing with the ending here. And then with the Seven of Cups, I'm sensing like you could be loyal type. And I'm sensing they're dealing with a loyal type and as well as they are not like you. They are a player type. They, they will just chase after somebody else. And I'm sensing with the Ten of Wands, they are fully aware that you put an effort in this connection and they carry all those things that you gave them. Or I'm sensing with this also ten of wands. They also tell their friends how idiot you are to give them everything. That's what I'm sensing. They're very egotistic. I'm sorry with that word, but then that is how I see, okay? With what they tell their friends. And with the initiation, they have a lot of options and you're not aware about it. And with, this is the moon, their secret, okay? I'm sensing here that the friends know about the secrets, that this person has a lot of options in mind. It's not only you, there's another person involved. That's what I sense while I shuffle the cards. And with the accent here, they're telling their friends that you're somebody who's loyal type, okay? And you want this, you want a committed relationship, but look at that. They tell their friends that even though they are not pushing forward with a connection, you're still into them. Like they're making fun of you because you put an effort, you believe in this fantasy, and they are kind of different from you. Very egotistical type of person. And with a garden here, I'm sensing like they could have mistreated you. Like they tell their friends that um, sometimes you are together, sometimes you are not together. Like he or she is in and out of your life. Because of the fact that this person is not even stable or not content on what they had. That's why um, they, they will go to a relationship after relationship or um, they have third party scenarios as always that could be. And this person doesn't care. Like a player type vibe. Kind of playful energy here guys. So please be watchful. And with the bird's nest here, I'm sensing like they're telling their friends that you keep on giving them love and support. Even though they don't want it anymore because to be honest, they have other lovers. Okay, and the friends knows about it that this, the true um, attitude of their, 
of this person. Okay, they know it because these are the person's friends, right? And you're not aware about it because with the Eight of Wands, I'm sensing here that you thought that this person is the one. Like even if he or she's not taking an action, not manifesting the connection, not even putting an effort, you just keep on giving and this person is not. They, they're telling that to their friends. Okay, that you have been giving, but then they don't exert an effort in your connection. Like you're so into them because you think they are the one. You chose number one. And then with the Queen of Keys, I'm sensing with this one is that um, they're telling their friends that you're a great person. But then I'm sensing like you're better off even without them. Could be they are intrigued by your presence because you are something that is successful and happy and fashion fashional <laughs> um fashional <laughs> is there a word of fashion no you you love to you love fashion okay that could be <laughs> what kind of word is it i don't know if there's a word i Fashionista could be. <laughs> anyway, up in the air. I'm sensing like you could be somebody who is materialistic, but then you're successful and happy of what you are. You could be, um, that's why it could be why you're giving, because you're somebody who is successful in terms of career. And to be honest, they are jealous or, hmm. Um, I'm sensing with the strength here, like, they're the one who's pulling you down. That could be. This is an evil person if they envy you, to be honest. But their friends are aware that you're someone who's successful and happy even without this person, to be honest. Because that is what this person is telling the friends that you're also happy even though without them and with the high priestess here i'm sensing like you're somebody who's spiritual and that's what they tell their friends and with the five of cups here i'm sensing like they're telling also their friends that you have been through a lot of struggles in terms of love life relationships or even relationships with other people could be and you have a big heart that despite of all the pain, you're still the person who's giving and giving. And then with the up in the air, they also tell their friends that they are not sure if you're the one whom they will end up marrying with or not. They are indecisive. So with the treasure here, I'm sensing like, could be you left this person, okay? Um, I'm sensing like they tell their friends that if they lost to you, they will be very upset. Okay, that's how they tell their friends. And then they also tell their friends that anytime soon you might let them go because they're, they are not taking any action. They're not giving you that loving support. And I'm sensing with the two of swords like... Um, they tell their friends that they made up their mind. That's why they don't take any actions with regards to you. Could be they are dealing with certain people. Like, they're always looking for more. Okay, and you're somebody who's holding tightly to them. And I'm sensing with this seven of pentacles. They're not really... I'm sensing like some of them, they tell their friends that you are not their type even if you're... You're like this to them. You're loyal to them, okay? For them, they tell their friends that they rather choose someone that they are interested with because they're not passionate about you, not even giving time and effort for you because of the fact that um, they are into someone else. They tell their friends about it, that even though you gave them material things, they can just let it go, okay? And choose someone else. They're so evil. I don't like their vibe, guys. I made a diversity here. I'm sensing like, um, I'm sensing like they, some of you guys, okay? I feel like you already left this person. This could be your ex, okay? Some of you, if you're still dealing with this person, they don't care about you. 
Okay, they didn't see you as their lover. They tell that to their friends, like they are better off without you, and you're better off without them. They don't even have future, or they didn't plan you to marry you someday. Even though they they are they don't want this, they don't want you to go away because they, okay, you like them, right? But then. If you left them, it they will be very upset. Like they want somebody, they want a lot of people that、um, has a crush on them. Okay, they don't want only、uh, two, three. They they want everyone to like them, and that that's why they will miss a treasure if you will go away. And then with the Queen of Forces here, I'm sensing like some of you really let go of this person already. Because I'm sensing like、um, this person mistreated you. Based on the readings here, they mistreated you. And if you ever let go of them, they tell their friends that they feel this way, that they feel attacked, they they feel heartbroken when you left. Like they realize、um, their wrongdoings when you left. Sorry about the noise. See even the noise. Probably because of what this person is doing, because to be honest, guys, their friends knows what this person did to you. Like they are dishonest to you, okay? Like they thought that they can control you forever. They tell their friends that they mistreated you. That's why you let go. They tell the truth about it because, to be honest, if you left this person, because in this group I sense that there will be two groups here who chose this pile: the one who left this person, and the other is still dealing with this person. Okay. If you left this person, they tell their friends that since you left, they are like this. Like, um, it's a punch to them. Or it awakened them that they have been this person that that mistreated you. That's why you let go. You had enough of their、um, egotistical mindset. Like you don't like them anymore because you see you see yourself in the mirror that you guys don't vibe each other. That's why you left. So if this person is Um, what do you call this? It's trying to move forward when it comes to your connection. They are telling the truth to their friends, how egotistical they are of whatever they did to you. But if you're still together, they are telling their friends, making fun of you that you exert an effort and they don't exert an effort. Okay, you just love them and that's it. Like they don't care if you have certain effort, they will still love someone else. That's their mindset, okay? And by the way, this is another the spring to autumn, and I'm sensing with this one is that if you're the person who left this one, the one that you're dealing with, they see you as someone who's blooming, okay? Um, whom is having it all together? No more anger, no more pain. Like you're. You're not looking at them anymore. Their friends are aware about it. Could be, their friends are their spy. Okay, their friends are spying on your social media if you block this person, and their friends tell this person that you are doing well with your life, with your career, or with whomever you are. And you're, I'm sensing like this person is. Look at that face. Okay. Kinda envy, envious of you because I see envious in this reading. Okay, that this person could be you move on already, and this person is envious of you. Like when you let this person go, you grow. Okay, while they are like this when you left, they like they can't even be an emperor in a pride. They can't be an empress in a pride as well. Okay, like、um, they lose focus in their life since you left. That's what they tell their friends. Like when you left, they're telling their friends the truth that you know they miss an opportunity with you. So with a look out, I'm sensing with this card is that 
、um, they are telling their friends that they are looking for someone else new after you,、um, this ended. Because I'm sensing, like, with a look out here, their life is in a disaster since you left. And they really have strong feelings for you. And it's hurting them that they didn't say to you everything. And they also tell their friends that they want to wait for you. They are still waiting. But then looks like it, you're not coming forward. The more that、um, it takes so long, the more that it hurts them. That's what I'm sensing. Like the more that they feel guilty of whatever they did. And they tell their friends about this because they want someone to comfort them. But their friends, to be honest, they are aware about how this person mistreated you because could be on the part of this reading, this is how they tell their friends before you go. And then another reading here. Is what they tell their friends when you left. Okay, there's two sides here. So, anyway, these are your romance angels. You got past life relationship and free yourself. So, anyway, um, you are a thing of the past to this person. Okay, and when if you left this person, okay, they are trying to. <laughs> Um, take back control of their life because you already did it. Okay, based on your reading, if you're still connected with this person, they will say to their friends that you didn't go away yet. Okay, you're still there. You're still stuck because of the fact that you guys had strong feelings for each other because of this connection, past life connection. That could be. So, if I were you guys, okay, you're. If you're still connected with this person, you have to let go. This person is not good for you. They are toxic. They're the person who, whom you need to detox. Okay. They don't deserve love since they are players. They are playing with your feelings, with your efforts as well. So let this person go. Okay. So for the part that left this person, okay, good for you. You're doing well with your career, and this person saw that. Um, is there anything else, angels? They said that if you're connected, please cut this person off your life, or else he or she will continue on playing with your feelings. Okay, is that healthy? So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching, pile number one, and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello, guys. For those who chose pile number two, which is sensitivity, your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. Here is your reading, guys. Okay, I'm sensing, <laughs> sensing sensitivity, but we will see. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, let's see. If majority of the cards are in a bright, it means yes. Um, they do talk about you with their friends. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's see. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. That is from my neighbor. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards, so that we may be able to know. Does the person of pile number two talk about them with their friends? No need to explain yourself. The angels say to this person, "Miss, what they want you to know." Okay, so you got initiation. In both ways, they said there was a third party involved in your situation. According to the angels, the Buddha prepares in reverse two of keys. He also got um, Hilarion. In both ways, they tell me Archangel Michael. In either way, they say you also got love elementals. In both ways, they say you also got master artisan. In reverse. They tell the King of Keys. In upright, they tell. You also got set in your course in both ways. So, it is a tie, angels. 
the angels say it is because if you're dealing with a masculine, they're not talking about you with their friends. But if you're dealing with a girl, they are talking about you behind your back. So, it's a no and a yes to the fact that if you're, you're dealing with a feminine, they talk. But if masculine, no. But we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance. Because it's a sensitive topic, they say. Okay, so let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So that we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. That's a topic that they don't want to discuss, according to the angels. That is why if a masculine it has that kind of um, emotional breakdown, according to the angels, they rather not talk about it to their friends. They're hiding their emotions to their friends if you're dealing with a masculine. But for feminine guys... Um, of course, they will talk if they have something inside, right? That is what feminines, most of them, are. If they, um, I'm really sensing here that they have been attacked. That's how they feel. That's why they rather step back and not talk about you to their friends. If you're dealing with a masculine. But we will tackle, okay, about the feminine side here and the masculine. I will say, don't worry, guys. So, anyway, you got a no and a yes. Yes for if you're dealing with a feminine, but no if you're dealing with a masculine. So anyway, on the masculine's perspective, according to the angels, the masculine rather not talk because people's perspective will change if they will talk about you. That's how they feel. Because of the fact, I'm sensing like they're wearing a mask, okay? But deep inside of them, to be honest, they are not victorious, okay? That's how they feel. Like, they feel so down. They feel like somebody betrayed them, somebody lied to them. And they just want to release themselves from you so that they will be happy. So that they will not be stressed. That's why they rather not talk at all about you because they are on the process of healing when it comes to you. And they rather focus on other things rather than on you because they are in a process of healing. That's why they are not looking at you. They rather focus on their self. They rather not talk about you to their friends. If you're dealing with a masculine. So with the master artisan here. If you're dealing with um, a feminine. The angels say. Um, they say to their friends. How they mistreated you. How they use you for money purpose. And now that you're gone. They don't have any money. They, they miss the way that you give. They miss uh, this. Okay, and I'm sensing here that they tell their friends that you left them because of the fact that you can't take it anymore about your relationship. That they, um, this could mean that there's a fight or this person mistreated you. They, they use you for money purpose. That could be for material things. Um, that's what they tell their friends. They are aware of their weakness, to be honest. And with the Seven of Cups, I'm sensing like they're telling people that currently they are looking for someone like you. That's how they tell their friends. And then with the Loving Elementals here, if you're dealing with a feminine, okay, um... They mistreated you, they are aware, they, they can't move on from you because they miss your love. And since you're away, um, it hurts them. Like, um, they don't have that love anymore with anyone. That's how they feel. That's what they tell their friends. 
that they miss your love and with Archangel Michael if you're dealing with a feminine again okay they are hurt that's why they talk to their friends and they try to release you in their life by talking and talking about you over and over again so that they will release these feelings that they had for you because to be honest i'm sensing with this tower moment they haven't recovered yet from the fact that they lost to you and then with the hilarion i'm sensing here again with a feminine okay on the feminine side if you're dealing with a feminine they haven't moved on yet i told you they haven't and with the knight of wands they lose their passion like they are talking to their friends so that um they will be uplifted they will finally release themselves from you that's why they keep on opening the book and talking to their friends family members and so on so that they can easily get rid of these emotions that they had um it's their way to recover and some of them are even posting in social media according to the angels so that they may be able to release their deep feelings because they have been attacked and with the treasure here again with the feminine they are talking to their friends about how it was a sudden okay how it was a sudden that you left like they are not expecting it like it it strike okay like like somebody who stole their treasure kind of like that they they are not expecting it they they tell their friends about it if you're dealing with the feminine they tell that it happened right away without them even knowing with the buddha prepares i'm sensing here that on the feminine side again okay um the angels say they mistreated you okay they're telling their friends that they are not yet ready for another relationship even though they have a suitor already they can't let go of you because of the fact that you have been giving to them they miss your love okay they they want you back if you're the masculine watching this and with the nine of swords i'm sensing here they they really want to let go they really want to move on but then they keep on missing the love that you give and with the buddha prepare say are not really what they call this they're not prepared for another lover or they are not healed yet okay they are not at peace that's why the buddha prepares is in reverse if you're dealing with a masculine i'm sensing like they're not telling their friends why because they have other options in mind and some of them are rather not focus on love life yet because of the fact that they are kind of busy with their work and they're not waiting for you anymore to come back to them because they believe that if you will come back you will just toast their money okay the money that they work hard on and they rather release you and not talk anymore because um they're hurt okay they rather focus on other things rather than focus on you that's the masculine's energy here and then the next is because um, you mistreated them that's why they don't want you back so if you're a feminine watching this don't run or chase after this person because they had enough with setting your course i'm sensing like if you're dealing with a masculine they say um they are rather busy focusing on other things they told me and with this card i'm sensing like they are not focusing too much on you because they are hurting whenever they think about the past about the fights about this energy of not really good about the tower moment that happened between you guys could be and this person is rather manifesting other things or moving on that's what they're manifesting they're so busy and i'm sensing like their friends um they know that this person is what you call this moves a lot or set their course to another girl or 
like it was nothing with their friend like their friends doesn't interfere with their love life that could be that's another case scenario and another thing why this masculine didn't tell their friends could be because of gossip they don't want gossips okay that's why they rather um move away from from this toxic situation not to talk to anyone because of gossip that could be they want to be at peace with the rainbow here they want to be left out they don't want anyone to talk about them or about their love life that that's what they are they are kind of sensitive to the fact that they are hurt okay that's why they rather not talk with your friends if you're dealing with a masculine for the feminine side if you're dealing with a feminine they are sensitive right now they they try to move on that's why they talk to their friends so that they would have comfort so you have these cards guys so you got keep an open mind so i'm sensing like if you're dealing with a masculine they are currently rather focus on other girls okay uh, they realize that you're not the one that they want that could be sorry this is a blunt reading and finances and career so anyway um this feminine thought that um she wants someone who who is rich okay and she is aware that you are used for money purpose if you're dealing with a feminine who use you for money and to be honest if you're dealing with a masculine they rather focus on money okay finances rather than on the connection and with a true love here i'm sensing like if you're dealing with a feminine um they see you as the true love because you manage to give them what they want so separation i'm sensing here that in both feminine and masculine side okay both are hurt with the separation so let your friends help you so look at that with the feminine it's only the feminine who talks to their friends okay about you it's because um this person wants to be comforted okay by their friends and they ask their friends advice even um they lean on their friends whenever they feel sad that's what they are and then very soon so i'm sensing with a very soon card um if you're dealing with a feminine their friends are pushing them to the right direction wherein they need to move on because to be honest some of them haven't moved on yet from you if you're the masculine watching this because um they are aware that they use you for money they can have everything with you they see you as their true love that's why they can't move on that's why they talk to their friends and i believe that their friends tell them hey make up your mind you have to move on you don't have to remain stuck forever with that guy because he already moved on okay and that's it so anyway is there anything else angels they said that if you're a masculine watching this next time um just based um just base your judgment on um not the looks but by the attitude because some people are users they say okay and if you're a feminine watching this um they want to say to you that you must move on because this person is not reaching out to you because of the reason is they are hurt and they are not into you anymore so you have to make up your mind to move on okay clear your energy with this person and learn from your past mistakes and never again to use your person for money purpose they said or for material things so is there anything else angels they said um you have to release your ex the angels say whether you like it or not release them in your life and learn from the past hurts and mistakes and because if you didn't move on if you didn't um 
learn something, learn your lessons, and you didn't change, same thing will happen over again. So that's why it's important to release your ex, realize your mistakes, change your ways, etc., so that the history may not repeat itself. Okay. Next time, for the masculines, okay, who's watching this, let go of control issues, let go of your ego, of wanting someone that is using you. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching pal number two and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello, guys. For those who chose pal number three, which is allow yourself to receive, open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending you, here is your reading. I'm sensing like for this person, you are an heaven sent to them. Like they don't even understand um, why. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing. And I'm sensing like they are divinely guided towards you. That's how they are thinking. And I'm sensing like they could sense, okay? They could sense angels. They could be spiritual people. That can be. Okay, but then let's see. If majority of the cards are in upright, it means yes, they are talking about you to their friends. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's see. I'm sorry about the noise. It's from the neighbors. Okay, angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know. If the person of pal number three talk about them to their friends. For more shuffle. Because they are divinely guided by the above. The angels say that's why it's four. And remember they are somebody who's spiritual guys. And I'm sensing like they are in a high vibration. That's why you need to shuffle for. Could be they are earth angels. That can be. Or a light worker. One more. <laughs> okay, no more. That's it. Alright. So let's see. So you got Oriel and the Sphinx in both ways, they said, two of scrolls in both ways, they said, seven of scrolls in upright, they tell, they can concentrate with their work, according to the angels, the willow in upright, they said, add some, in both ways, they said, there was a third party involved in your connection, that's what I'm sensing here. Um, you also got the War of the Roses in both ways. They said you got the King of Roses in both ways. So that's the only card that they give. Yes, they talk about you definitely with these two cards in a pride. One more. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> okay. They want to give more. So you got the Queen of Roses in a bright position, they tell. You also got Eight of Keys in both ways, they said. And then the Treasure in both ways, they said. It's still a yes, guys. And increase it is. <laughs> okay, you have this. In both ways again. Because of the third party, they're kind of distracted. That's what I'm sensing. Alright, I will arrange the cards, but don't worry, I'll show it to you later on. Mm -hmm. But we got the yes, they're talking about you. And then we will clarify, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know. What's behind the cards presented here? Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. The angels told me that you have to let go of your control issues when it comes to love. Because to be honest, this person knows already what they want. With their life, with their career, with their love life as well. And since you came into their life, they don't understand you. 
why you came to their life. <laughs> like you came like a distraction to them. That's why they even talk to their friends about you. Then we will tackle about it. Don't worry, guys. We will see what they say to their friends. I'll just let the angels place the cards where they want to place it. Like, you just came to them like a lightning. The angels say that <laughs> they are shocked <laughs> by that lightning bolt. <laughs> wow, I like that energy. <laughs> they really want to talk to you a lot. They like your vibe, by the way. Because I'm sensing their energy, like, I was smiling while I shuffled the cards <laughs> while I'm holding it. Suddenly, I got thirsty. Anyway, we got a yes, guys. This person is talking to you with their friends. So anyway, you got the treasure here. I'm sensing this as uh, somebody that is arrogant, okay? Somebody that's arrogant that thinks, even though they are divinely guided, they thought that they are fine on their own, okay? Kind of arrogant feels. Why? Because of the fact that they could be rich, okay? They are really afraid that somebody might steal that treasure and this treasure could be the riches that they had, okay? They are afraid that somebody might take it away from them. They are not really interested when it comes to love. That could be. Um, if they are in a third party, I'm sensing like that is what the third party did to them. I'm still sensing their ex energy could be or the third party's energy wherein they are only after the treasure of this person. And suddenly that person left them. And that's why they're talking to their friends. Um, this person came to my life and I really like this person. That's what they tell their friends. And they also tell their friends that they are afraid that you might hurt them. They are afraid to embrace their feelings, but they feel you are the one. They, they are confused if they will give their heart to you or not their treasure. Because you might hurt them and you might use them for money purpose. That is for some. Okay. And some of them, their, treas their treasure, sorry, is their heart. That they are afraid to get heartbroken again. That could be. So anyway, with the increased moon here, they also tell their friends and also family members. That's what I'm sensing here. They, they talk to their friends and their family even if we just ask for friends. I have that vibe, they talk to their family as well. Because this person is so, what they call this, so in love that they can explain. What they tell to their friends is that um, if they have a third party, if they are married to someone, they tell them that they, leave, they will leave this third party. And people are against them because they will have to let go of somebody in the picture, either you or the third party. Honestly speaking, what their friends are telling or the family members. For the family, they're telling, um, the family is telling, hey, how about the marriage? How about that person that you're dating? Okay? And that is also. And their friends will say, hey, it's okay, okay? It's normal to release someone if it's not working out. Like their friends is um, telling them the right thing. But their family is telling them, hey, stick with this um, person that you're um, married to or somebody that you're committed to. Well, but deep inside of this person, this person really likes you a lot. That's why they talk to their friends. That's why they talk even to their family. I don't really like the person that I'm married to or I'm in a relationship with. They, they are an honest person, by the way. That's what I'm sensing. But kind of ego, 
not egotistical but arrogant okay kind of arrogant could be because they are rich okay as i told you with the treasure if they are rich they are arrogant okay and of course it's gonna take them away their the third party okay they don't know if they will let you go or not but in their heart they love you they are in love with you to be honest and with the master artisan here what i'm sensing with this card is that they tell to people here of what they want um they will tell the friends other friends okay not really close friends that they are um they're in love with you okay they are in love with you but then they are connected with someone that is not even their empress they're so sad so if they're dealing with their close friends they will tell their friends the real truth wherein um they try to work things out with their third party it's not you okay with a third party but it didn't work out and like it's not enough give and take okay they tried okay they tried to to be with this person to work things out but it seems like it's a toxic connection okay and they really want to let go of you if you're the third party okay if you if you're the person that is toxic for them could be the one who chose this pile is um this is your your what you call this your partner and at the same time your partner has someone else in their mind okay that could be but if you're the new person watching this they are in love with a new person, okay? Just to give you a clarity because you might get confused with my readings, guys. So anyway, with the Queen of Roses here, I'm sensing like um, they are telling their friends that they are being used by their partner. That's what I'm sensing, by someone. Um, because this someone is kind of controlling to them and it doesn't make them happy. They're not really happy with the love life that they had with their partner. And they feel that it's imbalanced connection. And they are also aware that if they will choose a new person, they will come out as someone that is evil because they cheated. And that is what they tell their friends, that um, with the Eight of Pentacles, they don't know whom to put an effort with. Because this person, if they fell in love, okay, if they are in a relationship, they put an effort to that. But then they tell to their friends that I'm confused where to put my effort on because um, I'm being controlled by by this woman or man, okay? I'm being controlled over by this person and but I'm not happy with that connection. And if I ever choose the new person, what will happen is that people will judge me in a negative way. Okay, because of just justice in reverse, like they will betray it or they people will think that he or she cheated. That's why they they talk to their friends. And also with the Queen of Roses, they could be loyal types. And they will say that they are loyal to their lover, to their partner, but then they are not happy with the connection. And they are so confused what to do. Because they are in love with a new person. So with the Oriole and the Sphinx here, I'm sensing with this one is that... Um, they're telling their friends and family members as well, the angels say, that, um, God wants them, um, to be, to release themselves from this toxic situation. Like, I pray to God and I receive a sign that I really need to release this toxic relationship. I want to move on. That's what I'm sensing. They, they are telling their family that, and their friends as well that um they are loyal okay they tell they are loyal but then um 
there is this um, emotions or this relationship that they had with their partner is not really working. It's hurting them. Like, there's a lot of drama with the waters here. There's not enough love. That's what they say. And they are being drawn to release, okay, this person, toxic person that they had. And with a perspective of the family, it's always against what they want. And they're being controlled, manipulated by their family. But with their friends, I'm sensing like they are aware that this person is hurting from the partnership that they had with um, their partner. Because they, of course, if friends knows what's going on, really, rather than the family. The family will think everything is okay, and they only care if... Um, what they call this, they only care about reputation, to be honest. They only care about um, what the divine, okay? Example, if you're a Catholic or you're a Christian, um, people are against the divorce thing if they are traditional. Because that's what's happened to me in my um, past, okay? Like, even though people know that I was abused or I'm not happy with my ex-husband. My family keep on pushing me to my ex-husband. And even though it's toxic already, they and my mother will tend to say to me that I have to follow God and, and so on. Like doesn't even care if I was hurting or not. And uh, that could be the case scenario here. Okay, with a spirituality thing. Okay, because some people believe that because of spirituality, you must um, stay with your partner or with your married life, even though it hurts. Which is very toxic for this person, to be honest. Because their friends are aware about it. And then with the two worlds here. They are indecisive which way to go. That's why they talk to their friends and even family, okay? Because they are an honest person. That's what I'm sensing. They are highly authentic because they are spiritual people. Could be an earth angel. That's why they encounter someone who is toxic to them. And they know the truth of what they want or of what will bring success to them. Since... Um, the new person came to their life. They feel that that is God's warning to them or that is the escape rope that they had. Because they really look at that. They are a maid with a person, okay? What I mean by maid, okay? They feel like they're not successful and happy inside that home, inside that marriage life or partnership. And they think that they will be more successful and happy with a new person. That is what they're telling their friends, okay? I really want to go away or break up with my current partner so that I'll be successful and happy. They also tell that to their family that they are not really happy, okay? They don't want to remain stuck in this kind of energy because they tell their family that I tried my best. I put in an effort here, okay, with my partnership and it didn't work, okay, um, because this person is toxic for me. And then the next is the in, um, seven of scrolls. I'm sensing here that if they chose um, their partner, what will happen to them is they are like this, okay? They are upset of the partnership. They don't really like it. Could be because their partner is controlling, could be it's toxic, and they are so upset about it. And their family members are trying to make them stay even though it hurts. So what happened to this person is that they are more focused on career rather than love. Because they don't feel that love to their partner. And they're very sad, to be honest. They really want to escape. As you can see with the willow here, they want to go to the new person. That's why they talk to these people. 
because、um, I'm sensing like they're telling their friends that they had enough. With you, if you're the partner of this person, they had enough of this never-ending story of、um, bad fortune. When it comes to love life, they had enough about it. They want to be free because it's also hurting them in terms of their mind, anxiety, and pain. They wanna escape that kind of sadness. They wanna break free. They wanna release themselves already from misfortunes. From toxic relationships, from drama, and so on, and they see peace and harmony with a new person. They tell the their friends that they really see the new person as their hope, as someone who will turn this wheel of sadness towards happiness and joy, and that they had enough about the partnership. That they had with their partner, and then the next is the King of Roses here. So anyway, with the King of Roses, I'm sensing like they are comparing the new person versus other roses, versus other men, other women, their friends, and they will tell their friends that they might end up cheating. Because I'm sensing here that they're in love. They are in love with this person, the new person, because they're not really happy with the one that they they are married with or they have partnership with. This could be somebody who's controlling because you have controlling cards here. They could be manipulated by this person. There's a lot of drama. They're telling the truth. They're so authentic. Like,、um, they they don't feel the passion anymore. That love that they seek. Like they are just like a fool, just following、um, other people's opinions or their family's opinion that they are married and they should stay in the connection. But it's hurting them. They're telling their friends because they're so sad with their life. They really want to go towards this new person because they see that new person as their hope, as their dream. That they even compare that new person to other people. And I'm sensing like their friends are telling this person, "Hey, let go of that partner." You have to choose. You want to be happy, be with a new person. You you want to, I'm what you call this, experience the thorns, then stay with your partner. That's what their friends are telling, and their family. Well, I'm sensing like they didn't tell this to their family because I believe they already tell it to this family of this person. That they are hurting, but they never tell their family that they want to cheat. It's only that their friends knows about it that they are cheating, because they are in love with a new person. I'm sensing like some of them didn't do this yet. They are just confused what to do, and they might say to their friends that I might end up cheating. But then people will say to me that I'm the one who's evil here if I cheat. So anyway, this is the next card, War of the Roses. So with their friends, I'm sensing here their friend's suggestion to them is that they need to end the cycle of drama so that they can be happy with a new person, and with us. Ace of Swords. I'm sensing here that the friends are aware that、um, they're not being honest to themselves. That's what the friends tell. You're not being honest to yourself. That you're not really happy with this partner. This partner is full of this stress, and they, of course, as a friend, they want the best for their friend. Okay, this is a friend's advice to them: is that they need to let go of that partnership that is toxic, because it is dishonesty to themselves. That's what I'm sensing, because their friends really wants their friend to be happy. 
They understand their friend. I made the ad sum here because, to be honest, the ad sum in upright it tells about um accepting God's gift for you, okay? And you will say ad sum with open arms if you will accept your person, okay? Or if you accept the blessings of God, and this person is confused whether or not to accept it or not. Better to accept a new person or not, to let go of the partnership that they currently have and open the doors towards a new person. That's what I'm sensing. They really want to open up, okay, the doors for the new person and release this old partnership that they had. But then their family is against it. That's what I'm sensing here. Like, um... They just trying to tell their friends about this so that they will be comforted or um, they are also asking their friends what to do. So with this card, I'm sensing like um, they're conflicted if they would accept God's gift for them, which is a new person because it is their escape route from a toxic relationship. Then you got express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I believe that this is what their friends are telling this person what to do with a new person. That they should be more expressive. And I'm sensing like they should make the effort in everything, okay? To manipulate the situation. Because I believe with this card, look at this, um, this figure. Like somebody is being forced here. So it has to do with a strength card and also another card here that somebody is being controlled over. I forgot which card. This one, okay? Look at that. Could be their partner is like this. And their friends are aware about it. They're telling their friends about this. That their partner is controlling them. And they don't like it. And even their family are forcing them to love this person even if they don't want anymore. They're, they're angry, as you can see. And they are being forced on to love someone that they don't have feelings anymore. As you can see with the hands here, hand gesture. I don't know if you can see that, but this guy is forcing this girl to love him even though she doesn't want anymore. And that's it. Is there anything else you would like to add, angels? They said that for the partner of this person, better release yourself. Okay, better understand the feelings of your person. Because to be honest, this person tried and tried their best to heal um, this connection and it doesn't work. And... You could be toxic to this person. If you really want them, then don't be like this. Don't be too controlling. Don't be too dominant over them. And don't be like this as well. Like you're always upset. You want this and that to your person. And because you're so controlling, because you're somebody who is very demanding what happened to them, is that they... They're not focusing too much on their heart anymore, on their love life, because they're upset about the connection. So, please, guys, okay? Avoid being toxic to this person. And I'm sensing, like, if you continue on doing that, guys, this person will not marry you if you're in a partnership or they will end up divorcing you. Okay? So for the new person, okay, just continue on minding your own business, loving this person from afar, and because they are mistreated, be kind to them, okay, if they will express their love. <coughs> My throat chakra hurts, sorry guys, <coughs> suddenly. Whose throat chakra is it the new person or... And they said that it's because um, for the new person, you're not allowed to express your love yet because they are connected with someone else. That's what they want to say. 
So don't take an action, just be friends first, alright? And with um, your partner, the partner of your person, um, just release this person, release your ego, okay? You don't have to be toxic to this person. If you love someone, don't be toxic to them. Love them the right way and don't punish them. And is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching pile number three and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello guys, for those who choose pile number 4 which is a divine guidance, the ideas you are receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers. Um, they say that it has a connection with pile number 2. But then let's see, okay? <clears throat> um... Anyway, if the majority of the cards are in a pride, it means yes, they are talking about you with their friends. But if majority of the cards are in reverse, it means no. So let's see. Oops, sorry. Angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know if the person of pal number 4 talk about them to their friends. Release your ego of wanting this person, the angels say, because currently now um, they had a heartache, that's what I'm sensing. Yeah, it has a connection with the other pile. About, yeah, pile number two, really. It's nothing to do with you with pile number two. It has something to do with someone who broke their heart. So you got the four of roses in both ways. You can watch that if you are drawn to. Um, seven of forces in both ways, they said. The journey in both ways, they said. You also got um, seven of keys in both ways. They said reflection in upright. You also got community in both ways. They said garden in upright. They said. You also got queen of forces in both ways. They said add some. You also got lovey elementals. In both ways, they said. You also got initiation in either way. And you also got look out in a bright, they say, autumn or spring. So, one more. Um, two keys in both ways, they said. You also have Buddha prepares in both ways, they said. Archangel Raphael in a bright, yep. Yeah. They are currently healing. So, since majority is in upright, because you got um, three here, and then another Archangel Raphael, so you got four. Uh, I'm sorry, five, because Azam is upright as well. Five upright, it means yes, okay, definitely. You don't have any reverse. But we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you to be honest the angels say you have to give them space because they are healing they're trying to move on from a third party situation that has to do with money matters. You can watch pal number two. It's about um, the, what happened, okay, in their connection. They are recovering from it. You need to give them space so that they can be able to recover. So anyway, I'll just let the angels place the cards where they want to place it.
so anyway this is um the first card all right so you got a yes this person is definitely talking about you with their friends so you got to look out here i'm sensing that this person have been through a lot with um a past person their ex could be so with the king of cups um they have feelings for you but then they're holding back because they are still upset about this um ex that they had and they currently they are still um they waste a lot of money with their ex according to the angels that's why they're trying to recover their finances and their heart as well since they have been betrayed and with the three of wands here i'm sensing like um, they cut off this um, other relationship that X, okay? Could be one of one of the viewers here. Could be is their X, okay? That's what I feel. I feel like if you're their X, um, watch pal number two, okay? Because I'm still sensing your energy here in pal number four. So anyway. This person is talking to their friends that they already let go of this toxic situation with their ex. Because I'm sensing here that they have been used. It has a connection with pile number two. They have been used. They are angry because they exerted an effort. They they provide um, a love for that person and they mis they are mistreated. That's what I'm sensing. And they release themselves already. But for the new person, is there a new person, angels? They said that there is a new person that this person likes. And he or she talks about that as well with their friends. So the next card is the garden here so with a separation here they the friends are aware that this person left their ex because they tell about it that they are happy without that person without their ex that's how they say to their friends if you're the ex watching this they are telling that they are happy without you okay because they finally released the toxicity okay and they are at peace and harmony that's what they tell their friends with the community here i'm sensing like um they release a lot of people in their life they only choose the right friends to talk to that's what i'm sensing with this energy that's why it's in either way they talk to some friends and other friends they don't talk could be just close friends okay so they tell their close friends that they are at peace of where they are now okay they are happy without that ex or their toxic connection because they are starting off um if they wasted a lot of money with their ex they are beginning to realize the importance of saving money and also keeping money for themselves and giving everything that they had because it's about money as you can see and i'm sensing with the justice here they're telling their friends that they deserve someone better than their ex who used them for money that's what they want because they want to be at peace and harmony so that's what they tell their friends that they are happy without you if you are their ex and with a reflection here, I'm sensing like they move on already from the past, okay? And if you're the ex, they're telling um, their friends that you haven't moved on yet. That's what they observe, like you're stuck in the situation. And with the Ten of Wands, I'm sensing like they tell their friends that they move on already from their ex and their ex still stuck with them so with the spring and autumn here i'm sensing like they have a new person in mind so if you're the new person watching this this is about you all right um they believe that you are very different from their ex you're not toxic 
There's somebody who is joyful and somebody who understands them. You're very different from their ex who caused them stress, okay? They are into you. They, they have passion for you and they want to take the leap of faith to come towards you. That's what they tell their friends about the new person. And with the seven of swords here, I'm sensing like, um, they also want to say that if you're the new person, could be because um, you're just a friend could be or their past relationship that they break up with that's what I'm sensing because I believe that they chose the wrong person this toxic person okay um, that's what they chose and since they chose the wrong person um, they're their love life became like this insane the angels say it became insane and they want to reconcile with this new lover with the new person because i'm sensing like they want to say sorry for choosing someone that is not really good for them that's what they want to say because with the high priestess in reverse i'm sensing like they thought that um, it's a false victory. They thought that they will be successful and happy with their ex. And then what happened is that um, it's they are not compatible. There's a lot of breakups or uh, mischief according to the angels. There's a lot of um, fighting involved. And I told you that they exert an effort. They lose a lot of money with that relationship. That's what happened. And now, they want to go to the new person and offer their love. That's what they tell their friends. That they want to go back to this other person, other option that they had. You could be an option in the past, okay? And they realize that they chose the wrong person. So they want to come back to you and marry you. That's what I'm sensing, okay? That's what they tell their friends. So anyway, with the accent here, I'm sensing that they really want to communicate with a new person after they let go of um, these burdens that they had, this mountain of burden, because um, they have been through a breakup and they are in a healing process because as well in pile number two, they are in a healing process if you're dealing with a masculine Okay, if feminine, okay, that will not resonate. Pal number two will not, okay? It's about um, a masculine that was betrayed by a feminine because that feminine um, used them for money purpose, okay? That's the story there in pal number two because um, in pal number two, there is a yes and a no as an answer. A yes, if you're... If the viewer is dealing with a feminine, um, no, if the viewer is dealing with a masculine, okay? The masculine there in that reading was the one who was fooled by someone who was using them for money purpose. So that's the story there. It will only resonate uh, based on your reading, okay? Based on your story. And anyway, what they tell their friends is that they want to offer this love offer to the new person after they recover from the betrayal that had happened with their ex, okay? Because right now, they, they are in balance, okay? Since they gave their money, they gave their love, and so on, they could be in balance in terms of the money that could be. And with the tower here, they haven't recovered yet, okay? They, they are not yet choosing someone. Like, they tell their friends that they will offer this cup of love once that they recovered. They're just talking to their friends because they haven't moved on yet. They're trying to recover from the pain. So, with the journey here, I'm sensing like... Um... Four will resonate with number two if they have a new person. Because to be honest, if about the ex, they're not talking about the ex. It's confused. 
confusion, okay? Just the just take what resonates, okay? So with the journey here, I'm sensing with this one is that they tell their friends that um they are in balance right now. That they they are not yet ready for the new lover to come in because of the fact that they lose a lot of money, they need to save money, and that's why they are still in this kind of energy wherein they can f move forward with their new partner or move on yet. So they're still stuck because of the money. Like, they can be with someone without money. That That's what they want to tell their friends. And then with the balance here, yes. They tell their friends that they're trying to balance out with their life. That's why they're not taking any action to offer something to the new person. That's what they tell their friends. And with the seven of wands here, I'm sensing like, yes. They tell their friends that they... They are still in this process of healing. Because I'm sensing with these views of the ego, like after the turmoil, they are releasing themselves, okay? Releasing themselves from the wrong people, from their ex. Not only their ex, but a lot of people here that are not resonating with their vibe. So they are telling their friends their actions, what they're doing, their healing. And if you're the new person, they see you as someone um, they love, okay? They are in love with you. And with the Queen of Forces here, in either way, um, they like you, but then they're still releasing the vibe of their ex, okay? That's what I'm sensing. With the Queen of Forces, in either way, I'm sensing like, they still kind of attach with their ex energy. That's why they are in the process of making this in reverse. So they're telling their friends that they are in love with you, but then they haven't recovered yet. That's why they're not taking any action. So anyway, with the add some, I'm sensing like they're telling their friends that you will be the one who will make them happy. And inspired even, the angels say, and you will release them from the sadness. That's what they tell their friends if you're the new person. Like you're heaven sent to them because Adsa means that the blessing came to you and then you have to say Adsam to receive that blessing. So they think that you are a blessing and they also tell that to their friends if you're the new person. So, the Lavi Elementals is here, and I'm sensing like they tell their friends that they exert an effort with their ex, but then they didn't receive that equal love from that ex-partner. That's why they move away, because they don't want this person back. They want the new person. That's, I'm sensing like they are hurt. They are hurt by their ex. That's what they want to say. That's why they move away from this connection. If you're the partner, the ex-partner, they tell their friends that you hurt them. That's why they move on to another relationship or they release you in their life. So with this initiation thing, I'm sensing like you guys could be married if you are the ex, okay? You guys could be married. But then, even if you guys are married, with this Five of Pentacles, this person released you already. Like, they ended the cycle. They, they don't want it anymore. That's why they tell their friends. And um, their friends are telling that, hey, find someone else you since you released this person already. Um, but then they tell their friends that they are not yet ready because they are still healing, okay? Even though there's a lot of options, they try to deny because um, they're still in the process of healing because of they let just let go or got out of this toxic connection that they had. 
with Archangel Raphael here. I sense that they are in a healing process. That's why um, they're still this, okay? They're still protecting their heart because they are transforming. They are, um, they are in a process wherein they are learning from the past hurts and pain or from their ex-partner. And they, the friends are aware, okay, that this person is closed off. Not welcoming other lovers and they are changing. The friends are aware about it. So the next card is the Buddha prepares. So I'm sensing with this one is that um, the person that you're dealing with, they're telling their friends not to talk about the ex anymore because they had enough. They only talk about the new person with this Five of Cups because they're trying to release themselves from the ex-person's vibe because they see their ex-partner as somebody who took their stability. It's not fun to be with. They're full of drama, sadness, and they release themselves from their ex. That's what they want say also with their friends that I don't want to talk about my ex anymore i want to heal because they are not yet healed mm -hmm. and it's a hindrance with their healing if their friends are talking about their ex that's what i'm sensing and with the strength here i'm sensing like yes they are in a process of releasing their ex and with the treasure they tell their friends how many how many or how much their ex took from them that's that's what they tell their treasure their money okay because it's about money here in this reading and they lose a lot of money i believe because before they didn't see that they're losing a lot of money with their ex-partner and now they realize how many money or how much did this person um got from them that's what i'm sensing and with the strength in the reverse i'm sensing like they just realize uh, how much they what they call they say wasted when they let go so that is what they tell their friends it's kind of confusing because there's a new person and then there's an ex so, I believe that they also tell their friends about their ex, but only um, they will say that they released themselves already, they broke up, that's it. For the new person, um, they tell their friends about you um, because they see you as a potential lover that they will have after this ex okay but then they still need healing work to do they keep on repeating to their friends that they are in a healing period okay so you have the divine guidance i'm sensing like they are just praying okay they are just trying to heal right now and that is why they turned their back to the add some here Okay, they turn their back to the one that they want to marry or their new person because they're healing. Okay, they're focused on that. So anyway, um, these are the other cards. You have heart-to-heart -heart conversation and engagement. So I'm sensing with this one, if you're the ex-lover of this person, even if you tried to get them, I'm sorry about the noise, that's our neighbor. Even if they try, you try to persuade them to come back to you and get married or focus on the marriage thing, I'm sensing that they are not into it anymore. They already released you because they, they have their focus with someone else. That's what I'm sensing with their reading that they're, there's a new person coming for them. That's what I'm sensing. But then they're still healing their heart. So if you're the new person, don't push your person too much, okay? Um, because once that they are ready, they will come back to you, the angels say. 
and they will marry you one day. Okay, once that they recovered. So if you're the new person, yes, they talk about you, but then they are not yet ready for that love life that you're asking for. And then if you're the past person, they talk about you, but about how you hurt them, or um, that they are moving on away from you. That's what I'm sensing. And how many money that you that this person wasted on you? That's another thing. Or how much they wasted, and they are trying to balance out their life after this breakup. That's what they tell. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching, um, pile number four, and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.